60 second tip um, here at Peebles Golf Club today and I'm going to talk about a backswing tip so a backswing tip that I'm going to talk about is think of a, a big shoulder turn and a small wrist turn or a small wrist movement so what a lot of golfers do they do the complete opposite so they get to the top of the backswing and or they start the swing on the takeaway they'll move their wrists quite a lot of distance but they'll not move their shoulders quite a great deal of distance what that does it impairs rotation so if you do that and then here's the shoulder turn, it doesn't allow the club to swing naturally on its arc. So if you do this where you the, the hands travel a big distance and your, your shoulders don't turn at all, that's where you get quite a steep swing path, reduced back swing and reduced distance. So what you need to do is think about big shoulder turn, small arm turn. So if you get into habit, so your wrist shouldn't move too much in the dog swing. So if I get if I be able to turn my, my shoulders a, a big distance and then my wrists. So just think of the arm, the, the shoulders being a bigger muscle than the wrists. So if the shoulders are a bigger muscle, they turn longer than the wrists. The wrists don't have any part of the golf swing that's as big as the shoulders. So we take the club back shoulders and then the club should just fall into place. So as I come back down, if you notice the take out, my, my shoulders and take away are in a good relationship. So if we do the opposite where our wrists travel long distance, the shoulders will turn. That's where our plane is slightly off and we don't hit the ball consistently as we would like. So think about Big shoulder turn, small small arm turn. So yeah, the top small shoulder turn or big shoulder turn, sorry, and small arm turn. Let me know your thoughts on that video and post a comment below.